Hello, my name is Mr. Bill from Holbrook Elementary, and I'm going to read one of my books, The Nest Second Fly. And yes, my real name is William Sawyers. Introduction. This book is a favorite for third graders on up. It's a story made up from an imagination. Enjoy it. Many more to come. My old picture. Many years ago now. Published this in 2005. Here we go. Once upon a time in a tree in Concord, there lived a family of robins. The father's name was Troy. The mother's name was Tammy. One fine day in spring, Tammy said to Troy, we have to start building a nest. I'll be laying eggs sometime soon. Troy then said, let's pick this tree, as it's my favorite and close to the schoolyard for our worms. Tammy agreed, so they both flew away to get started. Troy was collecting twigs and such, and Tammy, the mother bird, was collecting old strings and papers left in the schoolyard by the students. They both returned to the beautiful big pine tree that stays green all year. Tammy said, I'll pick the spot where to build. Troy said, that's fine. So Tammy started building the nest close to the middle of the tree. It was about 13 feet high. They built and built for days. Finally, the day had come, and Tammy started to lay her eggs. Troy, the father, was away collecting worms for lunch that day. Tammy counted one egg, two eggs, three eggs, and no more. Just as the third bird egg came, Father Bird showed up with some fat, juicy worms. He looked down with joy and said, I hope there's a boy. Tammy then asked, what will we name them all? Father replied, we'll name them as they hatch. So from now on, Mother sat on them day and night. They stayed cozy and warm. Father Bird, Bird would help keep the eggs covered sometimes to let Tammy get some exercise for a while. As she missed this very much, she used to fly as long, as high as she wanted all the time. But now she has to keep her three eggs warm most of the time. A few weeks later, Mother heard a pecking sound from one of the eggs. Honey, Mother said to Father, I just heard one of the eggs peck and move. So Father and Mother moved and sat on the edge of the nest to watch as they started to crack open. About three hours later, they were all out of their shells. Troy, father said, this first one is a boy. His name is Flappy. He replied with a firm but soft voice. Mother said, I'm glad we got a boy. She said, I'll name the two girls. This one with a weird dot on the head I'll call Speckles. And the other, father said, hey, wait a minute. Why do you get the name to two and I only one? She said, you wanted boys and I wanted girls. I got two to name and you got one boy to name. So father said, fine, in a muffled voice. Then I'll name this one Waddles. And she waddles like a duck and was the last one to stand up. So father said, I'll be right back to feed them. And off he flew. Troy left the nest towards the school field. Luckily, the field was empty due to the fact that recess was over 10 minutes ago. A little later, he said, boy, these guys eat all the time. What a job to keep them fed. Mother agreed to help out with this task throughout the day. A couple more weeks went by. One evening, while everyone was asleep, cuddled together to keep warm, a big storm was brewing in the air. First, a large northerly wind picked up in strength. Father alarmed, woke up mother, wake up. A storm is coming, she said, leave me alone. I've had a busy day, all will be fine. We're in one of the best trees around, as she dozed off again with a big grin on her face. The fluffy little bird snuggled a little closer to keep them warm. A little while later, a rain developed into a very heavy downpour. The winds were blowing up to about 50 miles an hour. Father and mother were both sound asleep when all of a sudden a big gust of wind came ripping by them and blew the little nest. Down, 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 the nest fell fast. Luckily, the nest fell on a juniper tree and it cushioned the fall. Father and mother awoke in a frightening way. What happened? asked Flappy in a foggy voice. 
Mother said, the winds blew our nest out of the tree. The nest had been damaged a little. There was a three inch hole in the 12 inch nest. So father said in a big stout voice, quick, get out. Mother and I will fly back up into the tree. Then we will mend it quickly for tonight's storm. So Flappy, Spackles, and Waddles jumped over the side of the nest. And under the juniper bush to stay out of the rain. It was a very low jump. It was only three inches high. The baby robins were glad in a way due to the excitement that was going on. Father warned the tree to go to the fat little branches in the bush to keep them dry and safe. They all agreed to do so. Mother and father grabbed a side of the nest with their beaks. The first attempt was a bad one. Father was much stronger than mother. He lifted too fast and flipped the nest over on mother's head. She squawked out loud and jumped really high, causing the nest to flip back over right side up. She said, let's not put too much muscle into it, lift it evenly. So the second attempt to lift the nest in the, in the air was in the wet wild wind together was better. It was a beautiful flight indeed. The nest went rising into the air ever so slowly, turning to the right. As being lifted up by the wind itself, going higher and higher to where it sat before, mother held on to his father raced off to get some more twigs to help fix the nest and to make it stay. He returned with a couple of minutes later with a mouthful of branches. He fixed it in about 10 minutes. Then together they retrieved the wet and cold baby robins. One at a time they were picked up. Flappy and the others were very happy about seeing their parents. 10 minutes was a long time for them. They were very cold. So mother wrapped her big beautiful wings around them to warm up and told father to get some more twigs to cover up the three inch hole that was still in the nest. So off he flew, he made about six trips to find the twigs. On the last load, he said, he'll quickly fix the hole as mother held him tight. As he was fixing the nest, Flappy moved around a little bit and rolled out from mother's wing. Meanwhile, father was repairing the three inch hole from underneath. What he didn't realize that he, in the process of fixing the nest, he had covered up Flappy. Speckles didn't know or did Waddles and Mother as they were fast asleep. They ro arose in the morning and Father did his daily routines of getting their food for young ones. A little while later, Mother noticed that Flappy was flapping his wings. She said, Flappy, you must be eager to fly. He said, yep, I surely can't wait to learn how to fly way up to the sky as I see others do. Just then, Mother said, Oh my, I see Father covered your body during the repairs of the nest. Flappy tried to waddle over to Mother. He couldn't budge. All he could do was flap his wings in joy. Mother said, That's okay for now. As soon as you learn to fly with speckles and waddles, you'll fly right out of this nest. No problems at all. Father returned with four fat, juicy worms and began feeding them without hesitation. Mother asked, do you know what you did last night while mending the nest in a sort of an angry voice? Father said, what did I do? I fixed the nest in the cold and wet rain. She said, you covered up Flappy's body in the process. That's okay. I'll fly right out of it when it's time. Two weeks have passed. The baby birds weren't small anymore. They were all flapping their wings now. Mother said, I have to make a special announcement. Tomorrow we'll begin flight lessons. Oh boy, Flappy said in an excited voice. Speckles added, I'm afraid. I might just fall to the ground. Mother replied, no you won't. I'll guide you three for the perfect flight. Mother continued saying, Flappy, you'll have to put in extra effort to get out of this nest. Okay, he said, and started flapping his wings, practicing the rest of the day. The next day was a beautiful one indeed. There was a great sunrise on the darkened horizon. Father awoke first to get some worms. He'll need to get plenty for today due to the fact that the baby birds were going to get a good workout. As he took off, he awakened mother once again. She yelled out, do you have to make all that racket to take off? But father was too far to hear. The others woke up after her yelling out that. Mother said, we are going to get flight lessons after we eat. We all need the energy. Just then, Father came back with several worms. 
but mother said it wasn't enough for her too, and she'll go get her own. And off she went. Father said, okay, now it's time for basic lessons. As they ate, Waddles lifted up his head very excitedly and said, I thought mom said after we eat, I'm giving you advice on what to do in the air when you do get up. Mother's teaching you get up. Father then perched on the side of the nest. He did a, then he did a funny thing. He did a king tut stance, standing forward on one leg with the other stretched out in the air behind him. One wing tip up in the air over his head and the other wing tip pointing down over his tail. He said, try this. They were all laughing at him, saying, you're funny. He shouted, do it. It's important to learn. It's called balance. Without it, we can't fly right. And without balance, we might land on our heads instead of our feet. They were all trying it, but still laughing. Very good, he said. He told Flappy he'll learn real fast as soon as he flies out of the nest. Okay, next step. When we want to turn, we use, we'll use got to use our tails. Speckles asked how. Father replied, by twisting it to the right or left, like this. He stuck out his tongue and twisted it back and forth. They all started to laugh again. Flappy said, hey, Dad, it looks like you're really thirsty, and he started to laugh again. Just then, Mother showed up. She goes, what's so funny? Father said, I was teaching them two things about basic flying, balance and turning. Mother said, too bad I missed that one. No wonder why they're laughing. She proceeded on the topic of basic skills, how to take off and land, how to glide. She went on to what plants to eat and what not to eat. Okay, let's stand on the edge of the nest and flap your wings for five minutes, except for Flappy. He can practice where he is. Mother asked Father to jump on the branch close to him to make sure there's more room. She also told him he could, he could help. And be a lookout. Mother then told them they could stop now. Mother asked Waddles to fly first. Off she jumped, wings spread open in the air. She glided and dropped about five feet. Mother shouted, flap, flap. Waddle started to flap her wings. She yelled back saying, I'm flying. Mother then called her back to the nest. She flew back and landed next to father. She said, look, dad, I flew just like you. Dad says, yes, but I'll teach you stunts when mom isn't around like loops and other neat things. And then she responded by asking, what are loops in a quiet voice? Later, father replied. Mother then said, okay, Speckles, your, your turn. I'm afraid, said Speckles. Mother said, nonsense. We'll be watching you every step of the way. Then she said, if Waddles did it, then I could do it better. Off she jumped, but flapping as soon as she jumped off the nest. Look, Mom, look, Dad, I could do better. Turning her head towards him, flying forward, she was having so much fun. Mother told her to come back. She said, okay. And as she was coming back to the nest, she said, this is so easy, I can land with my eyes closed. Just then, she dived towards the nest and shut her eyes. Mother yelled out, no, in a harsh voice, but it was too late. Speckles had crashed into Flappy. Ouch, yelled Flappy. Watch out where you're going. Father, father and Waddles started laughing. Ah, shut up, muttered Speckles. Mother then scolded Speckles for being so careless and added, you should always keep your eyes open when you're in flight. You found out the hard way really fast. Yeah, yeah, said Speckles. Mother then said, okay, Flap, your turn, but before you start, we are all gonna pull out some twigs out from around your body. Okay, they all agreed. Each of them pulled and tugged on a branch, tossing them over the side of the nest. Mother said, okay, that should be good enough. Everyone back to their spots. Mother jumped on the nest opposite from the others. Okay, Flappy, try to fly out of the nest. Flappy flapped and flapped and flapped, but nothing happened. Mother said, wait a minute, I'll take out a few more twigs. She moved out of the way, and again she said, try it again. So Flappy flapped and flapped and flapped. This time something happened all right. The whole nest went up with him. He went flapping around the wild blue sky. He said, look, Mom, look, Dad, I'm flying. Just then, Mom looked at Dad and said, now what? At the same time, Flappy didn't notice yet. He was having too much fun flying around. Then he asked, why don't you want me to come back yet? Mother looked at, 
back at father and said, not yet, just keep on flying. Speckles and Waddle started to laugh and made comments about him. Flappy was having a lot of fun. Father asked mother, what are we gonna do now? I never seen this happen before. I'm getting tired, he muttered to himself. I'm going to land over there. He headed for a big pine tree. As he approached it, he tried to put down his feet to land on the tree branch. Just then, he noticed he had the nest with him still, but it was too late. The nest slammed into a big tree branch where his feet were supposed to be. The nest skipped right off the branch and Flappy and the nest started to fall. Both parents started to yell, flap, flap, flap but he was about 50 foot high, way too high and too far away to hear him. Waddles and Speckles both said, we can't watch, as they covered up their eyes with their wings. Dad took off without a word and flew towards his son who was in deep danger. Flappy was too tired to flap his wings. He thought about what his mother taught him earlier this day. You can glide. So he put out his wings as wide as they could stretch. Glide, glide, he was saying to himself but the nest was just too heavy to keep him level. He was heading down. He was coming down at a pretty good speed, too fast for father to catch up. By then, mother and the others were on their way as well. His flight path was heading towards the basketball court in the schoolyard. Father was only 25 feet behind him as he started to yell, flap, flap. This time he heard his father as he was heading towards the nearest basketball hoop. He flapped twice using all his might. Up he went and he hit it, wham. The nest hit the rim of the hoop, drawing his body from the nest into the basketball net as he grabbed out in fright and got tangled up in the net. Woo, he said, as he looked up at the rim, the nest was just dangling there stuck. Just then, father landed on the rim and asked, are you okay, son, in a nervous voice. Flappy replied, yes, sir shaking his head. I'm stuck in this net. And then the others landed on the rim also. Father said, quick, help me get Flappy untangled from this net. So they all pulled together at the net until Flappy came undone from this net. He dropped down out of the net about two feet and started flapping again. I'm free, I'm free, Flappy was yelling. He said, I'll meet you back at the tree. Up he went with the others, followed. When they all arrived, they were excited. Flappy wasn't hurt. Speckles asked, what about our home that's stuck in the rim? Pointing towards the school, it's all mangled up. Mother then said, we don't need it anymore. You're on your own. You're all free. Next year, we're going to find an old nest to use, since I don't trust your father building another one. Ha, 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 father replied back. He said, lunch is on me for the last time. I'll be right back, and off he flew. that end and another old picture anyway I hope you like this story I could um, you could find me on you can find my website with many stories under William 222233 and many search sites on the search engines and I'm also on YouTube under William Sawyers I got many videos 